Lyme disease is a multi-system illness caused by infection of the spirochid Borrelia, most commonly Borrelia burgdorferi. It is transmitted to humans through the bite of infected ticks of Ixodid genus. It is the leading vector-borne infection in the USA and its geographic distribution is wide. This illness might come with a wide variety of presentations starting with localized skin manifestation to disseminated disease. Its ability to affect any organ of the body can often be misleading and results in wrong diagnosis. Thus, the root cause may remain untreated for a prolonged period. A proper history and clinical examination are essential for diagnosis. Effective treatment options are available with favorable prognosis in almost all cases. Epidemiology of Lyme disease Lyme disease is endemic in North America and Europe. In the USA, over 30,000 Lyme disease cases are detected every year, making it the most common vector-borne disease there. Australia, Japan, Russia and China have also reported a considerable number of cases in the last few years, while Borrelia burgdorferi remains the predominant species to cause Lyme disease in the northern and eastern part of USA. Two additional species, Borrelia afzeliae and Borrelia garinii, are widely encountered in Europe and Asia. It is not possible to pinpoint the exact incidence of the disease because of the wide range of presentation and low sensitivity of the serological tests in the earlier stage. A number of studies have indicated that the risk of developing disease is significantly higher when tick attachment to its human host is more than 72 hours. Most cases of Lyme disease are reported in late spring and early summer. Pathogenesis of Lyme disease Primary reservoirs are small rodents, especially white-footed mice, which may carry the bacteria. An uninfected tick becomes infected by biting a carrier rodent. A human may become infected from the bite of the infected tick, which injects the bacteria into the human skin with the bite. Incubation period is around a week but the range is 2 to 30 days till first skin lesion develops. Once the bacteria gets inside the skin, any of the following might happen. The organism might be completely obliterated by the host immune system, might cause localized reaction in the skin, might get disseminated through the blood to other organs, primarily heart, central and peripheral nervous system and joints, although it can localize in almost any organ of the body. Since the tick is very small in size, only 3 to 5 mm long, the bite is often painless and remains unnoticed. Clinical features of Lyme disease. Lyme disease presents with a wide range of symptoms. The disease usually progresses in three stages and may be arrested at any stage. Early localized infection. This stage of the disease is characterized by erythema migraines. Erythema migraines is an erythematous expanding macular rash often with central clearing classically described as target or bull's eye lesion. The rash is not usually itchy, hot or painful. This is usually found in areas of tight clothing such as groin, axilla or thigh. Other non-specific presentations include fever, headache, lymphadenopathy, arthralgia, myalgia and neck stiffness. The next stage of Lyme disease is early disseminated infection. This stage occurs weeks to months after the primary infection. Along with constitutional symptoms, symptoms specific to various organs start to manifest where cardiac and neurological symptoms predominate. Common presentations include nervous system presentations such as unilateral or bilateral facial nerve palsy 
and other cranial nerve pulses, lymphocytic meningitis, painful radiculopathy, and peripheral neuropathy. Common cardiovascular system manifestations are myopericarditis, variable degrees of heart block, and arrhythmias. Common eye presentations are conjunctivitis, keratitis, and panophthalmitis. The last stage is late persistent infection stage. This stage can develop months to year after the development of early disseminated infection stage. And it is mostly characterized by musculoskeletal nervous system or skin conditions. Common musculoskeletal presentations are monoarthritis or oligoarthritis. Common nervous system manifestations are encephalopathy, polyneuritis, mood changes, and memory loss. And common skin manifestations are borrelial lymphocytoma, acrodermatitis chronica atrophicans. Diagnosis of Lyme disease. A detailed history and clinical examination are of the utmost value for the diagnosis of Lyme disease. Lyme disease should always be suspected in a person having a typical skin lesion with recent travel history to an endemic area. Serological tests should be performed to support the suspicion. Two serological tests are commonly used. The first one is ELISA. It is the initial diagnostic test. If it is positive or equivocal, then we can do a western blot assay. Some other investigations may be helpful in specific situations. For example, if lying cardiac develops, then ECG can show the heart block. PCR can also be done, but its sensitivity is variable. Culture of Borrelia from the biopsy material is an option, but it has a very low yield. Some differential diagnosis of Lyme disease in earlier stages. Differential sopirithema migraines may be reaction to an insect bite, eczema, cellulitis, and ringworm. Sometimes common flu can also present like Lyme disease because in both conditions, body pain or myalgia can develop. In late stages, the differentials are systemic lupus, erythematosus, Bell's palsy, chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia, myocarditis, heart block, and other tick-borne paralytic diseases. Treatment of the Lyme disease. A tick should be removed from the body as soon as it is found. Fine-tipped tweezers may be used to pull the tick's mouth part repeatedly till it releases the hold of the host body. It is very important to know that asymptomatic patients even with positive antibody tests do not require treatment. However, the presence of erythema migraines urges prompt and complete treatment in order to prevent late sequelae. The currently recommended treatment protocols of Lyme disease are doxycycline 100 mg twice daily for 21 days or amoxicillin 1 gram thrice daily for 21 days and in certain clinical scenarios oral azithromycin 500 mg for 17 days can be given. For pregnant women, children and those allergic to doxycycline or amoxicillin we can give cefuroxime 500 mg thrice daily or erythromycin 250 mg four times daily. Intravenous ceftriaxone is usually the treatment option if the Lyme disease affects central nervous system or Lyme carditis develops. Emergency referral is indicated for people with symptoms that suggest central nervous system infection, uveitis or cardiac complications such as complete heart block and myocarditis. Prognosis of Lyme disease. Usually excellent prognosis with treatment. A very small number of patients have reported poor functional status, joint pain and fibromyalgia symptoms which 
have been labeled as chronic Lyme disease or post Lyme syndrome. Some prevention strategies of Lyme disease can be insect repellents and protective clothing, limiting outdoor activity in tick infested areas, frequent inspection of the skin for early detection and tick removal, high risk patient with Recent travel history to endemic areas may be given a single 200 mg dose of doxycycline within 72 hours of exposure. Currently, there is no available vaccine that can prevent Lyme disease. You can find the full lecture note on Lyme disease in our blog. The link to our blog is given in the description. Please hit the subscribe button if you want to watch more videos like this. Follow us in our social media accounts. Support us in Patreon. Thank you.